Hey guys, this is the Beta Tower by FHN. Uh, so I saw this on the workshop and I saw like, hmm, dual cockpit. Very interesting. Kind of reminds me to a dual seat aircraft from World War II. All right, let's do a quick, uh, you know, walk around here. Hmm, I'm guessing this is some kind of a grill then. They use the barred window for this. Huh. I actually never used that block before. Hmm. Oh, by the way, uh, this truck over here has a working trailer system. So we're gonna test that later. Hmm. To the back here, we got some lights and warning lights as well. I like this, by the way. They use these neon tubes here for the light and this is a much cheaper way to have like lights compared to normal lights because this thing only costs one PCO instead of 25. There's a hinge there. There's the mud flap of the what the hell. I thought they were on a hinge or something. Hmm, <coughs> more mud flaps to the front here. This is quite a big truck actually. Like the wheels are as tall as my engineer decorative piston head here uh some kind of fuel tank using the retro future armor skin i guess that's a very creative way of using that skin are those like big up wheels up there i mean obviously they are just doing it for the aesthetic of the truck here but they can actually work as like actual backup wheels just in case you lose one of these but ideally, they should be, you know, like half grinded down like this, so they don't cost as much PC. Well, I guess this the whole exterior. Hold on, let me check the other side here. Oh, a camera. Might be a little bit hard to see forward from down here though. That's a lot of gyroscopes. I think I saw a hydrogen tank as well earlier. There we go. There's the hydrogen tank there. Uh, to the back here. What the hell? There's a connector, space balls, wait what, downward camera, uh, I'm guessing this is meant to be connected with something on the ground, uh, I'm stuck, hold on, there we go, alright let's check the bed here, oh, this truck bed is actually very nicely well done, you do have these hard points on the deck here, so, you know, if you got something that you want to attach on the truck, you can just put it on those things there. How do I lower this thing here? Oh, I'll do it from the cockpit of the truck later. Huh. Wait, are these magnetic plates? I mean, I guess this is gonna be useful to carry vehicles. I don't see why you need three of them though. More backup wheels there. We've got an antenna up here and to the front here so this is part of the actual truck this is an advanced co uh, piston i mean rotor there's a hinge there huh this is quite a complex build like the whole trailer system i'm not sure if this hinge actually works or not but i guess we're gonna see later or detector backward camera oh i guess if you don't have this trailer over here oh the trailer has a remote control. This is gonna be useful. Mm. There's doors. And to the top there's another antenna. That's one of the batteries. Uh, parachute. I guess if you're like, you know, falling from a cliff or something, that can be useful. There's a beacon over there. Warfare batteries. And these are conveyor connection to the cockpits of the ship. I mean, the truck. Oh, we got another forward camera up here. 039. But yeah, in terms of build and design quality, well, you guys can see that this truck is very well designed. Uh, I've reviewed a uh, build by this creator before. They really know what they are doing. Oh, the truck cost 7,520 PCO, by the way, with 1,919 blocks. That's a lot of blocks. Alright, let's drive the thing now. Hmm, I'm gonna put a co-pilot. Well, I cannot even see them from here. Never mind. Alright, disengage brakes. Hmm. Oh, what the hell? 
uh, I guess I gotta unlock the water or something. It's kind of stiff right now. How do I? There we go. I unlock the water. And huh, this is actually hmm. It drives a lot better than I expected, and the hinge uh, to the trailer seems to be actually working as well. You can see that the whole trailer kind of, you know, bends together with the elevation change of the terrain. So it's not like a stiff trailer. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, nicely. Well done. Alright, how do I lower these ramps? Hold on, I, I wanna try something here. Uh, can I park the truck like in American Truck Simulator? <laughs> there we go. I know all those hours on American Truck Simulator didn't go to waste. We don't have a side mirror though, so that might be a problem if you try to back this up from first person without using the camera. Well, not that useful. Alright, I guess that, that lowers the RAM. Wait, what happened? Uh, what? Uh, where's the button to lower the ramp? Ramp. Reverse. There we go. <laughs> um, I feel like that's kind of too high above the ground. Is there a way to lower the suspension? I don't want to read the manual. Oh, wheel suspension right to, wheel suspension left to. So this one's over here then. <laughs> Wait a second. That's not right. I'm just lower all the trailer wheel suspension. Uh, there you go. That's more like it. Alright, let's see how many of my baggies can be put on the thing there. More! Alright. I can actually just, you know, use one of these. There you go. Hmm. I'm gonna park on the magnetic plates there. Uh, they are not auto locking. Look at this person not helping at all. Auto lock turn on. Is it locked now? There we go. Oops. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, being a professional truck driver is, you know, it's hard. Come on. Can I fit this on? Oh, ah. Uh, I did not do that. I'm not sure what happened to the buggy there. Ah, uh, come on. Hmm. I'll drive over the wheels here. Oh, no. There we go. Attached to the... Ah. I chose the wrong career. Come on. Uh, I'll just put the rest of them on the back there. I'm not gonna put them on the magnetic plates back there. Because I wanna see how well something can stay on top of the trailer if they are not attached to the magnetic plates. Alright, good enough. Lifting the wheel back up. Raising the ramp. Alright, let's deliver these buggies to their rightful owners. Well, to the dealership. Hmm. Yeah, those, uh, those buggies that are not... Ooh. Look at the articulation range of the trailer. Oh wow! I was kind of expecting it to, you know, fail. Oh, uh, uh, well. <laughs> well, you know, that's not the that's not the truck's fault. Alright, let's see how fast we can go with this truck. Oh, here it goes. <laughs> you cannot get me, I race engines. Oh, I mean. I guess as long as you put the things that you want to carry on the magnetic plates there, you'll be fine. And are you guessing this? The truck is actually doing really well considering how fast we're going right now. Here, I'm gonna jump here and I'm sure we're gonna be fine. See, that's amazing. Oh wow, those are some very balanced suspension. Can it carry oversized cargo though? Oops! Oh, hold on, uh, <laughs> we're, we're fine. Something broke there. Oh, it's fine. Let's roll. Oh, that's actually... Wait, really? 
Huh. Oh wow. Look at that carrying capacity. Hold on. Huh. Wait. Uh. Alright. What about something more heavy duty? Almost there. Almost. Oh, dampeners off. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I I tend to do things without thinking. Hmm. Oh, all right. Maybe I'll just put uh this thing here. Fill it in with ice. Oh, oof. Oh. Oh. I guess that was too heavy. Let's see how well this drives on a hill. This is like one of those extreme terrain tracking videos. Alright, I'm gonna try to go as slow as possible here. Uh, let's find a flat surface. Whoops! Ah! Well. That was close. I guess we just got to drive really fast then. Alright, here goes. Come on. I I get a feeling that we're actually gonna survive this one because, you know, the wheels will start touching the ground. <laughs> uh, well. I mean, huh. The truck itself. Isn't that badly damaged? Well, the driver got very ripped there, but you know, we do still have the other cockpit here, and it's actually still working. It's kind of crazy how survivable this truck is. What about the ship though? Oh, it's a giant hull now. Wait, which hull is it? There's two of the hulls. Huh. Alright. I've loaded up with explosive barrels. Let's see if we can deliver this explosive to the best there. I'm gonna have a talk with my FBI agent. Alright, here he goes. Uh, the barrels are, you know, unarmed by the way. Because we don't want them to explode because they are getting shot at. I'm gonna manually explode them. Uh, we're getting closer. Come on, almost there. Almost. Almost and detonate. Wait, what? Uh, hold on. Uh, barrel. Wait, where's the barrels? Arm. Uh, what? Well, that, that was underwhelming. Oh, this because they are small grid explosive barrels. Ah, uh, alright. I get the large grid one now with a uh, remote control activation here he goes uh, dodge all the bullets come on oh no the remote control got destroyed uh, alright let's see if I can get under the thing uh, the antenna might hit the base uh, alright close enough warhead uh, 3 seconds start countdown uh, What the hell? Well, it's so hard being evil. Come on. Explode. There we go. <laughs> oh, you know, a better villain would probably prevail. Say, so, this the Beta Tawa truck by FHN. You guys can find the link in the description below. Cannot get me, Spider Man. Huh. Uh, not again. Oh, here's the damage, by the way. Crazy. I guess that's one benefit from having your base high off the ground like this. So, people exploding things from down here won't be able to damage too much of your base. 